Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another easy meal idea prep video. These videos are intended to give you lots of meal inspiration and ideas to make your work week or your stay at home week super easy. Let's see what's on the meal plan this week. In this week's video, we're gonna be doing boiled eggs in our Instant Pot as always. Another staple is keto queso. Air frying up some bacon, making some waffles, but making them chocolate style. Sweet crepini, so we made them savory a few weeks ago. We're making them sweet and let me tell you, simple and delicious. Chicken Caesar wraps, hamburger meat. We are batch cooking because we're going to be making some protein bowls and have it for leftovers for the weekend. Prepping some damn berries for my OGs. And then we're making some Southern Keto Cookbook gumbo. Let's get it. Work it, make it, do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my eggs cooking in my Instant Pot. I like to do this first thing so that way they can slow release. I'm just gonna put a cup of water in my Instant Pot. I had it set for my chicken from the last prep, which was 35 minutes, as you're gonna see here. We do not wanna cook our eggs that long. So we're gonna do zero minutes, and y'all ask all the time. It's because it warms up as it's warming up, the eggs are cooking, and then it cooks for literally no minutes, and then we slow release an ice bath later. While that's going, we're going to get our keto queso, which is a pound and a quarter of white American cheese, one block of cream cheese, green chilies, some butter, and of course, a small little crock pot. So we're going to get our cheese all sliced up here, and it is so easy. You can even get a whole block and slice it yourself, and then just chunk up your cream cheese and basically just dump and go, guys. And again, I like to do this in the beginning so it's heating up the entire prep. The entire can of green chilies, you can also sub this for Rotel. I know some of y'all don't like the green chilies or jalapenos if you want more spice and two tablespoons of butter cook it on low let it go so now we're going to go in with our chocolate waffles y'all been seeing me make the high key waffles in the plane they just came out with a chocolate version one more net carbs for this chocolate version but the ingredients are so clean guys you get three to four pancakes for the three net carbs which i appreciate from high key there's no artificial nastiness in here no fillers it's really good and the kids love it more importantly i'm making these for both my boys which are seven and four and they gobble these up just throw a little bit of sugar-free pancake syrup on top and some sugar-free whipped cream and they are all about that life so we're gonna go in with our mix. This is three servings, so I'm doing three of everything. And it still doesn't make a ton, because I like to batch cook a lot. <laughs> I like a lot, so I don't have to do this every week, but I have been doing it every week because three servings are three of the dose of this recipe. It doesn't make a whole lot. So basically what you need is you need eggs, you need your mix, you need some vanilla extract, and you need some almond milk. And I used butter instead of the coconut oil, and I think that the coconut oil Oil is better in my opinion it makes them not stick as much so as you can see I'm going in with my waffle iron I'm gonna use some avocado spray oil by chosen foods and I'm just spraying one time and then we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of our mixture it is thicker than the regular I will say but again I think it's because I used butter because I was out of coconut oil the coconut oil gives these waffles a nice flavor texture and again I don't think they stick as much as these did with the butter I was able to get them out but as you can see here I had a little issue with them coming out being a little flaky if you will they were still nice and fluffy and of course delicious but coconut oil guys do what the package says and don't deviate from it so here's the waffles that we made and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in some freezer bags so they last for the weekends that's when my boys eat waffles is on the weekends how do I reheat these y'all ask I put these in the toaster and they come out crispy and just fine a lot of y'all recommended the air fryer I find that mine shrivel up when I put them in the air fryer so I like to put mine in the toaster I'm using some wax paper thin sheets from the Dollar Tree to separate these so they don't stick together and these are gonna be great but guess what they don't last long because my kids fly through them 
Now we're gonna be making our carpini wraps. We're gonna be making them sweet style. These are the egg thins. You can get these at Costco. My local Rouse's grocery store carries these now. Thank you, Lord, because I love these things. Make sure you get these. They have another one floating around that is full of carbs and not the great ingredients. I've just got some damn berries that I got already pre-washed and kind of sliced. And this is the Nut Butter by Perfect Keto. This is the peanut butter and jelly one, basically. It is so good. It's probably the sweetest and the most tasty out of the new flavors that they have and when you guys are watching this if you're watching on Monday through Friday I do have a 10 off 40 personalized code I will link it down below but it's not good for Saturday and Sunday if you're watching so just Monday through Friday if you're watching late you can get a good deal on perfect keto so I'm going in with one tablespoon of my nut butter here you can even see it's got like that jelly look on there absolutely love it I'm spreading it I weighed up my berries for two crepini wraps so as you can see I'm gonna put half of my berries in here strawberries and blueberry mixture and then put another lid if you will which is a crepini wrap on top look how delicious this looks, just as is you don't even need another wrap but why not they're like nothing pretty much air so it doesn't matter and then i'm gonna roll these up into a wrap like i've done the savory ones and they are so delicious if you put these in the fridge the nut butter does kind of bind everything together so they don't come unraveled once you are in the car and you're eating these on the go like like I am as a working mom, perfection. Serving them up with two boiled eggs for some extra fat and protein. And this is a high fat, high protein breakfast for on the go. Absolutely delicious. Speaking of my eggs, we're gonna go ahead and take them out. So they slow released and we're gonna put them in an ice bath. So I'm just putting some water on top with a cup of ice and letting them hang out not long because we don't want that ring. And then we're gonna peel them up and put them in our Dollar Tree container, which lasts all week. I have no issues with this container. Y'all ask all the time. Pop them in the fridge, take them out when you need a breakfast pick me up. So now we are going in with our chicken Caesar wraps. I have shared this in a dedicated video on my channel before, so easy. Go to the deli and get your chicken breast sliced and get it pretty thick so it stands together. Some Parmesan cheese. You need some Caesar dressing. I mentioned in a grocery haul, this one is dirty keto, so don't come for me down below. I admit it. And some hearts of romaine. That is it, y'all. This is the simplest thing you can do. So in my glass containers, I got them prepped. I'm gonna take one teaspoon of my dressing. You can do more if you want. I don't need that much. I can taste it just fine. Spread it on my chicken. You're using it as a wrap. Put a little bit of romaine on there, one tablespoon of our Parmesan cheese, and then you're gonna roll this up. So essentially, instead of using a low carb tortilla, we're just using the chicken. So we're eliminating that. So you're saving on carbs, you're saving on calories if you do this, and you're getting the same taste and the same effect. It is so delicious. You can do this as a buffalo chicken wrap and put some hot sauce on there. You can just go crazy with this, guys. Make it your own. You can do this with ham, you can do this with turkey, whatever at lunch meat you like. You can do a club wrap. There's so many options for this and it's so easy and delicious whether you are low carb keto or not going in with my air fried bacon. This is a thick sliced bacon from Costco. Absolutely love this bacon. It is so delicious and always cooks up perfectly at 400 degrees in the air fryer at about 12, 13 minutes. It looks like this. We'll put it on a paper plate with a paper towel and let it drain off and don't drain off that grease though. So I'm showing y'all I have my mason jar that I save my bacon grease. Do y'all save your bacon grease? Comment down below if you do and comment if you store it in the fridge or on the counter. We've had this conversation before but I love using bacon grease to fry up my eggs to fry up my hamburger meat my steaks guys I fry it in bacon grease yes you're not living unless you do this you don't even need butter anymore just use your bacon grease storing that bacon all week long so now we've got our two pounds of ground meat we had talked about if you freeze these flat they will fall out much quicker and they absolutely did Montreal steak seasoning and Redmond's real salt for the win garlic powder grinder i'm absolutely loving it but y'all know i love this montreal and i was missing it so i went ahead and put a bunch of it i am very generous as you see and then this garlic salt it's delicious too so i wanted to add it and of course we had to go in some some real redmond salt i mean i'm just all about the salt life lately while that's going i needed to shred some cheese we don't use bag cheese around here because of the potato starch in it so i got that going and now i'm weighing up all of my ground meat into five ounce portions and putting them in my amazon divided containers link down below y'all ask about these specific ones all the time i love them they've lasted forever and they are great for keto lunchables or whatever you've got going on it's so great so five ounces 
pieces and then I'm gonna have some leftover ground meat so I'm gonna put it in a Pyrex dish so I can make like a meat bowl or a hamburger in a bowl or whatever I like to just do ground meat with eggs sometimes I know I'm weird I'm more of that carnivore keto life here lately of course I'm serving it with a piece of bacon one tablespoon of cheese and an avocado of course guys an avocado per day if you're not doing that get on it now we're going to be prepping some damn berries, y'all. If you're an OG, you know what that means. These are actually for Trey. I love me some blackberries, but he loves them and I cannot keep them from him. So I'm prepping those from him. I already had some raspberries prepped that were still good. So as you can see, I'm gonna put it on the other end of my storage tower from the Dollar Tree. So that way I'm not wasting an entire storage tower and we are good to go. Pop these in the refrigerator and he's got his healthy whole food snack all week long. Now we're gonna go in with our gumbo from the Southern Keto Cookbook. This is an amazing recipe. I will say, guys, if you're not a fan of spice, it calls for two tablespoons of Tony Sachery's. Y'all know that's the spice we use here in Southern Louisiana, and I absolutely love it, but it is spicy even for the girl. I can tolerate it, but I admit it is spicy. So if you're not a fan of spice, do one tablespoon. Going in with our kettle and fire bone broth, guys. This stuff is so full of fat and so clean. It's the only bone broth I have found that doesn't have corn syrup or added dextrose or sugar. So definitely find it in your local supermarket and give it a try. Or I have a link down below that will get you 30% off their products. It's an amazing deal, better than in store actually. So we're gonna go ahead and fry up or saute up our protein. My protein of choice is going to be shrimp, of course. These are gonna be wild caught. I like to get local, but if I can't, I get these. And instead. And then I've got these Teton sausages from Costco. I'm just using a whole package here. And I seasoned it up and I'm going to go ahead and brown that up and then put it to the side as you can see. Don't overcook your shrimp. If you're doing shrimp here, don't overcook them. This recipe calls for chicken, but I did shrimp instead. So now I'm going to be making my keto roux. So all you need is some butter, some almond flour, and some coconut flour. And you want to stir this vigorously, constantly. You don't let this burn. You want to stir it until you get this golden brown color right here and then I'm adding all those chopped veggies y'all saw earlier celery onion bell pepper and then we're going to add our protein back and now the star is that kettle and fire coconut curry bone broth guys look at all that fat look at it oh my gosh it's so delicious so flavorful here guys again if you have not tried kettle and fire I have been looking for other options as far as bone broths go I've not found one this is the only one I have found that is clean and spot on delicious so definitely check them out down below hunts tomatoes again another great option for tomatoes i have found and now going in with all of our seasonings especially some bay leaves as you can see we're just going to give this a good stir you want to bring this up to a boil and then after we let it go to a boil we want to let it simmer for 30 minutes so it's such an easy like dump and go recipe as well i'm all about that life easy simple and delicious no stress no fuss is what we are about here so on my microwave we're not using it so don't get triggered 30 minutes for the timer there let it go this is what we had this week as far as dinners go one of our dinner options and we served it with cauliflower rice with a little chopped green onion and it was perfection guys and this freezes well as well so if you want to freeze it knock yourself out because it is beautiful for that too and i'm actually going to do it because it makes a ton so that is this week's meal prep video guys easy meal prep ideas if you love these videos please give it a huge thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you guys waiting for if you enjoy these videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me thank you all so much for watching y'all let me know in the comments like i ask every single week what are you meal prepping what are meal ideas that you have for the upcoming month month for march what are you doing this week to make your life easy it'll help a lot of people in the comments down below so definitely leave your comment on what your meal prepping and what your grocery list looks like again thanks so much for watching y'all have an amazing weekend an awesome week coming up ahead get yourself in that kitchen and batch cook yourself like a boss and get those easy meal prep ideas flowing we'll see you in the next one bye y'all Thank you.